a little bit of juice. Oh, I think we need some ice. Let's get some ice going. So we are going to have a wonderful raw dinner. You are invited. That's what they say in Ghana. You're invited. So you are invited. So let me show you what we're having. So I, it was also impromptu. So I made some collard green wraps. And then the collard green wraps is avocado, scallion, cucumber, and cilantro. That's what's inside the wrap. And then, uh, then I made a, a sunflower seed, not in sofa seeds, sunflower seed, avocado, cilantro, and scallions, I made a dip with that with some salt. So I just brought some salt to the meal. Then I just nicely and sexily, now very sexy, cut open the passion fruit because it's sexy and it's like it's like clams on a half shell. Or I know I'm probably saying it wrong. Is that clams or oysters? This is the, this is my version of the oysters on a half shell. Is that right? Tell me. And then I got my little extra. So I tried it and it is absolutely delicious. And for dessert, I made some, I don't know what you call them, I'm gonna call them cocoa balls. This is called cocoa donut, donut holes. Uh, and and what that one was cocoa, pure cocoa, organic cocoa powder, um, almond milk, organic, walnuts, dates, and a little bit of salt. So I tasted this, now it's gonna be messy. I tasted it, so here's the wrap, and collard green wrap, don't forget. And I'm gonna just put the wrap in the in the stip. This is totally impromptu, and it turned out delicious because because the dip has a good amount of the Himalayan sea salt. Hmm. Mm. And the wrap does it. It is the perfect to give it the salt that it needs. Oh my gosh. It is so, so delicious. Collard greens are really nice. Now, I didn't have any olive oil to, you know, like soften, marinate, or massage. Collard greens in but <laughs> mm. because they're going so fast, they were soft naturally. You can tell what stands out. The cilantro. The cilantro. It, ups, it upscales or up levels, up levels the meal considerably. It really is a star. And then also, I'm gonna say second is, and you can do this too, you just take the dip and just put it on top. Um, and also the uh, scallion second. Now, for dessert, I didn't just make, mm, I lost some of this, I think some is kind of on the right. For dessert, I didn't just make the chocolate balls, I made fresh banana ice cream. <laughs> I'm going to show you in a second. I made fresh banana ice cream, uh, and I just froze bananas and put them in the high speed blender and blended them. Now I'm gonna show you. There you go. Oh, this is a banana ice cream, and it's so good. And you see a little chocolate in it because 
I didn't all the way clean out the Vitamix from the chocolate balls. And it just gave it even a thicker, most beautiful consistency. So this is the banana ice cream. Let me show y'all. And these are the chocolate balls. So I, I got them in the freezer now. I'll take them out and throw them just, it'll be short by the evening. I'll be ready to eat them. And these are so, um, I'm gonna say rich. That one a night is good, it's like a bonbon. That's what it wind up being, like a bonbon. So, yes, and this is my first time ever having like, I feel like a California or United States raw meal in Ghana. Mmm. 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 Oh. Very healthy. I'm tasty too. So, I made six wraps. And I got two more. It's a perfect meal. I've been raw for, oh my God. Let's see, 21, you know, 25. I almost, probably about, I probably made 40 days. I just honestly so nice. I probably made about 40 days. But I don't know if you have ever had passion fruit, but it is so delicious. You eat it with the seed and all. You just dip, put that in there and mm, mm. it has a tangy, sweet, sexy. It's supposed to be an aphrodisiac too. And I can totally see why. It is a very sexy. I mean, it's like I guess what oysters are supposed to do, but that's exactly the vibe. So, mmm. And it really pairs nicely with the, the cucumber and the dip. Oh, I have the juice got on it. Oh my gosh, very nice. So, I just wanted to show you how. <laughs> I just wanted to show you how I was doing my recuperating from my back. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I feel like there was a, I got the message and what that looks like. I'm, I'm showing y'all. I got the message. Sit down and do some other things. And live luxuriously. It's love, you know, what you call luxuriously. So, I called to get my massage tomorrow. <laughs> but, they called me so they're going on some group training or something. So, my massage won't be till Thursday. So, tomorrow... Mm. Pastor Fruit. Tomorrow I'm going to go out to the gallery near the beach. Mm. Enjoy the sea breeze and art. I'm going today. I'm going to have basically, hopefully, I can have it mostly to, my, you know, to myself, but people too. And that is my tour tomorrow. Then Thursday I get my massage. And then Friday I am going back to work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been having an absolute fabulous time. Oh, let me tell you what I found out. I won't be going to Egypt. Egypt is, I'm not Egypt. I'm going to Egypt actually. I won't be going to Paris. Come Mm -mm. Yeah, U.S. citizens need a um, the vaccine, or you don't have it, you have a negative test and be quarantined for seven days, and there's an answer. Oh, and there's other things on the list, and I think Africa, the whole Africa and Asia was on the list, I think. Um, and they said drug restricted, mask everywhere. No, I ain't got to talk about that. 
So, instead, I went on to the Black Travel Movement, and Egypt is popping. Egypt has just attached them in two hours before. Never been called the test checks. Um, because the movement, that travel movement, was three people went, gave the same plug. It's called Brown Sugar Travels. Now you said this tour guide, or this tour company is off the chain. Brown, travel, tra Brown Sugar Travels. Call before setup. Sounds like um, experience, real cop to hand experience. They take you to all the major places. They say that they will be fun filled, packed. There were women solo traveling, there were couples. And they said the dollar goes very far. And having a tour guide, you, know, you pay for everything ahead of time. You don't have to worry about being haggled because you're going to get haggled a lot if you could. And I called Accra uh, Air Morocco. And yes, uh, Egypt is on the list, but they're adding things back on the list slowly. So um, Morocco will be in June this month, Morocco. And then other countries. So he said that Egypt should be on, yeah, before August for sure. And he says he can't tell if it's going to be cheaper or just a little more until we know, once they start adding it back. So, well, I'm going to Kevin. Another one of my dream places to go. Fifty fourth birthday. Mm, I'll be a bread. That's my nine. And a nine is deep, that nine years, like, completion. And it really is. It means that it's almost like a completion of a cycle. The cycle of who you used to be. All right, I'll cut this off eventually. The cycle of who you used to be. All, and it's about learning, too, in the nine years. And using all that wisdom, that learning gets you somewhere. So you're about to go into your one. So, yeah, that nine year, the nine, this is going to be a 54. So that means 55 is all brand new. So I'll be letting old things go in my nine, completing things, yeah. It's gonna be really nice. It's gonna be really, really nice. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Really good. Mm, very good. But very fresh. I don't even have one for dessert, but I'm sure later. And I'm sure I have one for um, ice cream. It's my clam. I don't know. I call it oysters, clams. Tell me which one is on the shell. I suppose I think it's oysters. It's supposed to be like the the aphrodisiac. <laughs> mm. Yeah. It's a very mm -hmm. very nice. I'll order some more. So I'm going to Egypt. I mean, that's what I see. I mean, I'm here at that time, anything could happen. But I'm feeling like that's the way to spend my, my completion year. Because I always said I was going to Kemet. And my mom always wanted to go. So she might be taking me. <laughs> she might be taking me. Uh. I made a mess in here. I ain't want you to see it. Like, it's such a mess. But I just started coming in here, and, like, my creativity was like, you know what? Let's do something different. I feel really good. I feel really happy. So, I got two more days of this lovely adventure. Friday, I'll go back. I got to mail out all my black, my remaining packages. Everything is, should be ready and is ready. And that's it. 
Friday, then I take off Saturday and Sunday, and I'll go back on Monday. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, I hope you're doing well. Thank you. You are invited. Um, I know that boy on the ice is gonna be delicious. I love her for I tell you, I'm so passionate about it. Huh? Mm. I'm glad I'm eating it. So yeah, thank you, ladies. I'm gonna say that hello. Mm -mm -mm. What a day. It's been so decadent. Hello, beautiful. Hey, Kwan Yin Blue. Elaine, I had a dream about you. How are you? It was a great dream. Joining you this afternoon. How are you? Those are collard green wraps. Yes, yes, it is naturally. Looks good. Thank you. Hey, Emma. That sounds so good. Do you like spicy foods? Not really. Hey, not since I'm menopausal. I can't do spicy foods. Lisa said, I stopped at Trader Joe's today after getting my B12 shot. I bought fresh fruit and pineapple juice for my lunch. I am seriously considering returning to vegetarians. Go ahead, you can do it. Ouch, says Naturally Clever. So I says, although, right, I many times have plant-based meals. I don't think I'll give up cheese. If I ever choose to eat only plant-based, I could never be vegan because I'm not giving up uh, leather products. Well, yeah. Uh, one of my best friends schooled me on the difference between vegan and plant-based diets. I wasn't aware until a couple years ago that there was a difference. Yeah. Love, Patrick. Thank you, Kwanya. You know what? I mean, who makes up these names anyway? Who makes up these names anyway? I mean, it's so, it's, it's deep to me that, yeah, so you're not a vegan because if you have any leather products, then you're not a vegan. Who makes up these names anyway? Plant-based, vegan, who would matter to? Who care? Because if you go into a restaurant, you're not going to say, don't give me that vegan meal, meaning you know you don't eat dairy. Because I got leather on my feet. I mean, you're not going to go in a restaurant and say that. No, 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 I'm not a vegan. Even though that would go, I don't eat cheese. Because I got leather shoes on. So you should not serve me that vegan meal. Although that would be exactly what I need to eat when I go in this restaurant. So, because I'm just saying, think about it. If you if they, if you go in a restaurant, since it's a vegan restaurant, you go in a restaurant, they're selling vegan food. Should they not let you in with your leather because you're eating the vegan food? Should you not eat the vegan food even though you don't eat dairy so the vegan food would actually be exactly the food you would want to eat because you got leather pet purse on or leather shoes? It's ridiculous. The whole thing, the title, so now I got people scared to say they're vegan, but they got to say they're plant-based, which just sounds weird. It don't really matter to me. I don't really care who you are, what you are. But let's think about that, how somebody gives it a name and then, okay, also, Many times we can sit on leather seats. Oh, yeah. They sit on leather seats. They can't avoid it. They can't avoid it. It's, it's in things. So it's, 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 just, it's just so ridiculous. And you know what I don't like? I don't like to see black people get into this like this deeply. This separation and this, you know, you're not really, you know, you're really not. You do. Girl, call yourself whatever you want. And healthy would probably be the best. And some, that could be debatable. <laughs> I mean, that could be debatable, you know, vegans be, hmm. Now, I was, too. I'm not a vegan because I, I got leather, so I'm not going to go in a restaurant that I wouldn't eat in, and that's the food that I would like, and vegan would be the title for non-dairy. So, I mean, just think about it. Yeah, I hear a lot. I hear a lot. Too many ladies, uh, too many labels may cost them. Oh, well, it does. It already does. It already does. And who creates the label? So ridiculous. And I have a hard time with the vegan thing and the animal thing. I'm going to tell you. Not that, I mean, I, I don't know how animals and why they came. I can't say. I mean, we might be getting into stuff that's not for us. But I will say this. I've seen it so much. Uh, I live in California. These vegans, so she the ones, the non-black vegans, they would you know, march basically for the dolphin or even the pig, but will literally not have a black person in their house or will literally walk over a black homeless person or any homeless person for that matter. Well, you don't care about a fellow human being, but you think that, who was the, it was a sports player, Vic, I think his name was, should get arrested for, something's wrong with that. So how come you could have compassion for the animal, but you don't really have compassion for the people? So I'm not down with your movement at all. 
I, I'm doing what I do. I'm not part of no movement. I was doing this before they gave it a name. There was no vegan when I was doing that. It was more vegetarian. So, uh, yeah, Michael Vick, thank you. So I can't, I can't get with that. I, I've seen it for myself. I, I've seen them walk over the homeless people to go save the dog. I see it so much that it's, it's, it's something, it's, there's a very much of a disconnect. What's going on with that? I remember I was watching this video somebody had around. It was a white woman and she was, she had a snake. And this woman was crazy. Like the snake was, this, this woman say these are animals. And not all animals are supposed to be domesticated. I mean, the unnaturalness of it either too, if you want to really say it. Um, and so anyway, she, was, she went and dug in and got the snake because the snake was her friend. And the snake started biting the ish out of her. And the thing she was do, I thought she kept calling somebody, you know, but gently, oh, baby, oh, I love you, baby. Oh, why are you biting me? I mean, this one was bleeding. Had somebody come to try to cut the head off but wouldn't let him. And the, then the video goes off. And I read the comments, and they're like, oh, why didn't she just kill it or whatever? Because she loves him. I knew I was done. I knew I was done. I saw things with them getting in the cage of baby elephants, but we know baby elephant probably still weigh about a ton. I can't do it. I can't. I can't. So I was going to tell you, really don't get caught up in the names, even if black people say it, because it's ridiculous. I think that everybody has a choice, and the way you eat, the way you sleep, way you love, so I mean the way it's your life. How you determine it, what works for you, it's up to you. Nobody truly understands the how it is to incarnate into an animal's body. Just like nobody understands how it is to incarnate into an insect African body. You're gonna have to make peace with all of it. I don't think because you ate meat in your life you want to hell, if if there really is one. Just like I don't think if you was a vegan and didn't eat meat, you going to hell. If you better what you read, some say this, some say that. So there's no moral code except for what feels good to you. So yeah, the whole that one right there. Yeah, I know, I know the men are vegan. I do. And back in the day, nobody was so strict about it. But now people watch that. I was like, I'm plant based. I like Corey Webb says, yeah, everybody's now said they're plant based because they're so afraid to be judged. Ah, please, <laughs> please. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I have no idea how nobody came in here to be sacrificed to die. Yeah, I mean, you just, like I said, it's amazing that they idolized Native American culture, yet they ate meat. You can say they did it in a more humane way because they used it all, but no, the, the vegans or the animal rights people say no meat at all, no time. So they pick and choose what part of the culture they want to take. They, they do. They're picking and choosing. To be, I mean, back in the hippie, that whole idea with the headband and the long braids, I mean, that was supposed to be, you know, imitating Native Americans. And they were supposed to be no eat meat, but the Native Americans ate meat. So you conveniently take parts of a culture, but I can't say I'm vegan and still get leather. But you can be uh, a hippie and don't eat meat, but you're taking other parts of somebody else's culture. You burn sage. Or you have a dream catcher. Or you beat on a Native American drum. <laughs> or you do Native American prayers. But you don't eat meat, but you're part of a culture that does. Come on now. Stop. See, and when you don't start critically thinking, you will have somebody else running your life and giving you labels, and you will go for it. You don't eat meat, you don't eat meat. You want to say you're vegan, say you're meat. You want to say you're vegan, I really, I don't, I'm. When I say it don't bother me at all, like for me, yes, I want to be with somebody that don't eat meat because I don't eat meat. But if they have leather, I have leather too. <laughs> okay. You know, nobody's perfect, and I'm not knowing if we're not or not. I mean, when I start traveling and seeing a relationship with most of the world and animal, they eat it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Vegans are probably cringing right now. I consider myself vegan, you know. They eat them. And I don't know, so you mean, there's a lot of Africans, uh, a lot of other cultures, they're going to hell, I guess. Oh, they must have went to hell already. Natives, everybody else did too. 
so ridiculous. It is so ridiculous. Now, I personally don't want any meat. I don't think it would taste good for me, and my body wouldn't be used to it. I don't think I need it. But if that person eat meat over there, I still will be your friend. <laughs> we still friends. You just eat meat. We gotta stop it. You gotta be very careful. I'm not trying to have everybody be one way. It's not going to work, first of all. So, so yeah. I liked when I did that vegan mat. I mean, it always meant actually no leather, but I hope it wasn't that, that, was that strict. But, like, you know, you don't mess with leather, but you are people who made money off the backs of enslaved Africans. Your wealth comes from greed, destruction, and decimation. I mean, how, how do you reckon that? I don't eat animal, but I'm wealthy because my family owns slaves. I mean, come on, let's call it what it is. It's proof that they know what companies were. I can't get with you. The people on the street literally living like dogs. No, the dogs live better because y'all seen the dogs. The dogs be groomed. Dogs got laid out beds. Dogs get to be on the bed with you. The dogs go on vacation. The dogs get to travel. And you sit right on that homeless man and tell him, I wish they get a job. You sit right on that homeless man and be like, oh, I wish they get a job. What job your dog got? Because he's not even acting like a dog. <laughs> oh, wait. Your dog job ain't even doing his dog job because he's so pampered. Somebody come in, he ain't barking at nobody. He be like, yo, just don't take my, my diamond collar, you know? Stop it. Y'all you know you gotta call hypocrisy out. And once you do, then you just live your life. Because that's some bullshit right there. Oh, I'm a vegan. I don't like black people. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm a vegan. Kill, save the pigs, but not the people. The people go to hell or get a job. Oh. We're speaking for people who can't speak for ourselves. But then you do inappropriate thing with little people. We won't even go there. Oh, they got the wrong one today. Hey, sis. They got the wrong one today. Mm -mm. Do not come talking about some strictness or nothing when you violate people. You take parts of a culture and then you don't like the rest. Come on now. How are you going to do that? I'm going to burn my sage. California was good for that one. We don't eat meat. We'll chant Native American chants, but they ate me. Well, they shouldn't have. <laughs> so what would happen to them happen? Oh, okay. And then they don't eat meat, but their people is the ones that own all of the slaughterhouses. And yeah, you know, that's, when y'all get in a black man really owns the biggest slaughterhouse, let me know. Let me know on that one. No couple of black people. We got to eat, we have to eat, we got to wear, we got to wear sometimes. No, don't come for us. We're not the ones. We're trying to live out here. Mm -mm. And I was like, I don't want a big house. It's consuming. It's a, it leaves a big carbon footprint after you had it. We just want to live in tiny houses. Well, not all of us do. It's like, stop it, y'all. Stop it. Oh, sorry. That's my vegan conversation. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Remember that one? Michael Vick. Yes, that's so true. Exactly. says naturally. Just loving the fruits and vegetables. <laughs> Thank you, Kwaiye. Truth, they want to punish Michael Vick, but don't mind putting immigrants in. Yeah, come on. Let's talk about that. In detention. Yes, facts are shy and go, queen. I guess Peter would punch me as I eat my veggie burger while wearing my leather bag. That's right, Queen. God looks at the heart. People look at the external. Ooh, you speaking, Miss Cheyenne. Speak the truth, Lisa Reed. Thank you. Dogs are living a good they living a good life, girl. That's first they follow Dr. Savy. I love it. Uh, yeah, I went to a dog show with friends to help with a catering job. Girl, the dogs had their own tricked out. I believe you. Their own tricked out custom bent. Now come on. I was amazed. Hungry and homeless people exist. And these vans cost over, yeah, 40000 See, nobody want to hear them. 
We don't want to hear you right now. I don't want to hear that. I don't want myself. I was like, these people got to be kidding. I don't got to be kidding. And how dare you so somebody wearing the fur coat and you're going to throw some paint on it. You know what? You wouldn't throw no paint on Try that with a black person. Ooh, that wouldn't be nice. You get your... Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not for the extravagance for myself, but I think that, like you said, it's your heart. People are good people. Whether they eat meat or they not, they don't. There's good people at all. And for us as black folks, we know we need to not do that. So we got bigger, we got bigger problems out here. Essentially, all the black men getting killed in the streets. Why Peter don't come out for that? I'm gonna talk about endangered species, but what about the brothers that getting killed in the streets and the sisters? Why Peter don't march for that? That's why it's bullshit. Save the whales, and you're doing, you're, you're raising big monies, but you ain't saving the black man, you ain't saving the black woman? I mean, they're dying on the streets like animals. Well, the animals don't, thanks to y'all. <laughs> thanks to them. I mean, crazy when you really think about it. That's so why we gotta start opening our minds and then choosing a life for ourselves. Because if you don't, you get caught up in some real BS. We gotta get into titles and have a con I don't even have conversations about stuff like that. I don't know. Whatever. I know I'm the strangest speaking to people. Why are you not on our side? I'm not on anybody. I'm, I, I, this is a choice of myself. Nobody else gotta do it. And I ain't gonna stop liking people because they don't do it. I don't, I don't, I don't have, don't get me wrong, I don't want to date when I've had that. That's, that's too many differences. And yeah, I personally don't want that. I don't eat it, so if you eat it, I'm eating it. So that's the only reason why. So we're not going to be intimate like that sexually because, yeah, I don't eat it. You, I, that don't work for me, but I ain't going to not be your friend. I love to see Peter. Come on, Peter. Come out here and, and, and march for the men and women that's treated like dogs and shot in the street. And I'm going to think about this dog. That's ridiculous. It, it's, it's so ridiculous. That, that chose or not, I don't know how it works, but I think, I think we do chose, to come into a dog body <laughs> and get eaten in certain parts of Asia and Africa. I don't talk about that. How about Africans eating dogs? They do. I'm going to tell you that. I'm going to leave that alone. They eat cats, too. I'm going to leave that alone. A lot of people don't want that information out. Yep. Oh, no. Well, I personally don't want to do that, but, hey. You know? <laughs> I'm just saying. The whole world is, is doing stuff. But, I mean, there's some basic things we should know how to take care of fellow human beings. We should always do that. But we don't do that. We don't do that. Not at all. Not that we do sometimes, but not enough. Anyway, it was nice having the vegan. And right now I'm doing raw vegan. And yes, I love raw vegan. And, uh, I like some of these raw vegan too. Uh, it's all other things. I don't wear leather, but I dye my hair blonde. I mean, it's, it's, it's that's why we all should just stop. Because there's, there's nothing that's going to fit into a nice little package or label. Because you may be black, but you want to ski. I'm just saying. Or you may feel like you want everything vegan, but you want dying your hair. Like so, you then now you realize, oh no, I'm trying to live on some definition that somebody came up with. You're not living from your human being self. You're living from your human doing self. Humanly doing what other people do. It's so ridiculous because there's, it's not, I'm this, so everything about, that's what drove people crazy. I know people become alcoholics and drug addicts and fundamentalists and dogmatic because they got stuck and they, they forgot they was a human being and forgot that they can't fit into a nice little title that's written on a piece of paper somewhere. Anyway. My appetite is spoiled. Now I want to play. All right, queens. I love y'all. I love y'all. I will. I love. I love this conversation. It was fun. Yes, yes. What are you eating, sis? I was eating a collard green wrap. My aunt from Beverly Hills threw her dog a birthday party. Ooh, she gave my kids an empty car. Now come on, sis. 
you will go to jail quick for harming an animal. Yes, you will. Truth, Beverly, yes. It ain't, ain't, it, it, it ain't funny, but the dogs got sick from the dog. Look at that. I know they got sick from the doggy birthday party. Now, that I believe you, because you're giving them food the dogs don't even eat. I was like, turning dogs to, I don't know, this turning dogs into humans, like when you got humans. Why you want to turn the dogs into the humans? I bet, now that's a great one, because it's funny in that way that it show you, you ain't, they ain't supposed to have no damn birthday party. Well, they had a cake. <laughs> Shaped like a bone. I already know. I already know. All right, we got, uh, all this stuff is beyond ridiculous. But, I don't know. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. But I love y'all. All right, ladies. Thank you. Um, and I really, um, I done did it. I done been on social media, all, every YouTube channel. I'm going to relax, chill out, and say yes to a fabulous day. Love you, beautiful queens. And it was fun chatting with y'all. Peace and love. Uh-oh, look at that. I need the red on my teeth.